Hey guys, so I haven't made YouTube videos for a while. So I was thinking for the beginning of the summer, let's make something you and I both would enjoy. Chocolate fudge popsicles. And since my channel is all about sharing paleo, gluten-free, and low-carb recipes, so I'm going to show you how to make these popsicles creamy and smooth yet dairy-free. Best of all, you don't need a blender, not even an ice cream machine. It's totally amazing. My name is Chiyo Smith from I Heart Umami. Let's make some popsicles. We only need six ingredients to make my paleo chocolate fudge popsicles. First ingredient I'm going to use is this dairy-free half and a half coffee creamer. And most of paleo or dairy-free ice cream recipe, usually you will see people use full-fat coconut milk cream. Um, I find that usually it's great, the texture is awesome, but sometimes it gives the, um, a little too much good coconut-ish flavor, sometimes I don't really want. So if you use dairy-free half and half, actually it will give you the same texture of creamy and delicious texture, but without getting too coconut-ish. The second ingredient I'm going to use is this unsweetened chocolate bar. The reason I use unsweetened dark chocolate bar is because I want to control the amount of sugar that goes into my ice cream when I add the sweeteners. And this dark chocolate bar will give, make my fudge taste really creamy and chocolatey delicious. So it's definitely a great item to have. For the sweeteners I'm going to add to my fudge popsicles, I have two different options for you. One is if you are on a keto diet or you want to go for sugar-free and also low-carb sweeteners, I recommend using this Lakanto Mang Fu maple syrup flavored sweeteners. So it has zero carb and tastes really delicious. And if you're just on paleo, totally in love with a maple syrup. I love maple syrup too, and you can also use maple syrup. On the, my recipe side, in the recipe section, you can find slightly different quantities because um, maple syrup is slightly sweeter than monk fruit syrup. So if you use maple syrup, you will add a slightly little less. We're also going to add one tablespoon of cacao powder. Make sure you find a good quality of cacao powder. I really like this Navita brand of cacao powder. Also, a little bit of vanilla extract. You can also use vanilla bean powder. And just a little bit of coarse sea salt. A little salt will enhance the sweet flavor, make our ice cream even more delicious. So I'm going to add about one and a half cups of coffee creamer, half and half coffee creamer, totally dairy-free. And three ounces of unsweetened dark chocolate bars. And this one tablespoon of really Mmm, smells so good. Just dark cacao powder. And the sweetener of your choice. Here I use maple syrup, but you can also use a monk fruit syrup. That would be perfect for keto. The last thing we add is two small pinches of coarse sea salt. And we're going to slow simmer it over medium to medium low heat and you want to stir frequently until the chocolate bars are completely melted and the mixture become creamy and smooth. It will take you about 5 minutes. So after 5 minutes later, you can see it becomes very creamy and smooth, almost like thick hot chocolate. So now we're going to turn off the heat. Set it aside, and then we're going to season it with a little bit more vanilla extract. You can also use vanilla bean powder. And this is the perfect time you should taste test and make sweetener adjustments. If you want the popsicle sweeter, and this is the time you can add more sweeteners. Otherwise, it's perfect, it is. So just gonna set it aside, let it cool completely before we pour them into the mold. Now, time to assemble. Here I use stainless steel molds, but you can use any ice cream molds you have at home. So I'm going to just carefully pour the thick and creamy rich chocolate mixture in and leave about one to two millimeter from the top to allow the ice expansion. Now I'm going to insert the stick and cover it up just like that. The better we prepare will be good for six 
popsicle molds. So I usually chill them overnight just to make sure they are completely solid before I remove them from the molds. But if you can wait, please at least give them about four to six hours in the freezer. And I have some pre-made ones that I did a night before. Let me just remove it from the freezer. Okay, now I'm gonna remove them from the case. So I'm gonna take one here. See that completely solid frozen ice cold, it's so good. And I'm gonna dip them into this just a cup of room temperature water and just kind of let it sit there for about, I would say two to three minutes. So it will easier to help us remove the popsicles from the molds. So now let's remove it, just be careful. Ooh, looks like I'm in luck. Look at that. Okay, so let me set this one aside and then remove this cover carefully. Oh, look at this dark, creamy, chocolatey cover. Oh my goodness, this popsicle looks like you and I are going to be best friends forever. If you guys know me, follow me for a while, you know I am like a super, I'm a big sucker when it comes to chocolate and especially chocolate fudge popsicles in a hot summer. I am going to take a bite here. And you know what? There's a lot of different flavor variations you can do. If you want to get a little bit fancier, you can actually dip them into melted chocolate and sprinkle with nuts over or whatever toppings you want. Just go crazy about it and go to town about it. It's your summer, totally enjoy it. But now I'm going to take a bite. Oh, wow, it's so creamy. It's so smooth and it just melts in my mouth. Like right away, I have to take a bite like very quickly. Mmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this is my summer fudged popsicles. My name is Chiyo Smith from I Heart Umami. Be sure to also check out more of my paleo, gluten-free, and low-carb recipes. I'm going to put links right here or maybe here. <laughs> so you can enjoy good food, stay strong and fit, live a healthy and happy life. For now, I'm just going to finish my popsicles. <laughs>